<laughs> Yo. Okay. Hi, guys, Hi guys, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to the All 22 Podcast. podcast. Glad, Glad to have you here today. today. Um, if, if you, you look, look around, around I'm, I'm not, not at my, my house. house. I'm, I'm in my, my dorm. dorm. I've, I've moved, moved into college. college. It's, it's been, been, what, five or six days since we've all moved in. And so we're here at Junieta College, and these are my friends. We'll go around, introduce everybody. And so we'll start with you, Max. Hey, guys. I am Max Locke. Uh, what else do you need? I, I wear number 96. I play on the defensive line. Um, High school. I, I am from Ben Salem, PA, and I went to Conwegan Catholic High School. So, yeah. Alessandro, do you? What is it again? Name? Yeah, yeah, name. yeah, yeah. I'm Alessandro. Uh, I wear number 98. Uh, Bull, 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 D, bull, D line, D line, D end, and I went to Wyoming area high school. <laughs> I'm Alex. Uh, I wear number 83. I'm a kicker punter. Uh, I'm a two shot girl. And then, as, as always, always, I'm Ethan Shank, your host of the All 22 podcast. podcast. Um, um, I, I wear, wear the number 26, 26 now. now. And not 49. Not 49, and we won't talk about that. Um, and I play safety, and I'm from Greencastle High School. So, um, as I said earlier, it's been six days since we moved in last Wednesday. That was a crazy day itself. Um, so we're all here at Junior College playing football, and we have to be here at what? We were here at 9. 9 a.m. I mean, most of us were here at most 9 a.m. Most of us were here at 9 a.m. It was close enough. Yeah. So we arrive, we start unpacking all our stuff, and then um, us freshmen, we have to go, we get headshots, we have our physicals, um, and well, equipment handouts, so we have to get all that sorted. Then um, we go for lunch, then what was next? We had, we had some meetings, um, we ate dinner, said goodbye to our parents, unpacked a little bit more, and then that's when it started. That's when college football started right there. We had our first few meetings. Um, I don't, I don't know, know if it was, was the same, same as you guys, guys but, but I could not understand, understand a single word they said those first few meetings. Um, it, it was it was, was a lot to handle, handle but one tower, bro. Yeah, yeah one one, one tower, tower. We have what, what three models. models. One one, one tower, tower soar above and attain excellence. So if you ever come around Junior in football, that that's what we live by here, and it's it's a really cool group of guys that we've all met. There's some there's some interesting fellows here and there, but there's there's a lot of cool people here. Um, shoot, so, so, so what were your guys', guys is, you know, first day impressions here? Like, what was, I mean, what was going, going through your head, your head when, when you finally moved into college, college like, like, away, away from, from home? home? I know I'm, I'm somewhat close here, here, but you guys are all, what, multiple hours away? Three hours. Three, three and a half. Three hours. I'm, I'm, I'm an hour and a half, so, like, you know, what were the initial impressions when you moved in? Damn. <laughs> that was my That's a initial, good one. Yeah, that That's was my one. initial impression. Uh, it it was rough. It was rough moving really far, but it's great to be out on my own. Even though we're we're getting worked like dogs right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Trying our best though. So. Definitely. Definitely. For me, it wasn't a big transition. Like, I had to, I wanted to be in the game for long periods of time. So, I'm the transition between. Being home in here is not, not that big of a challenge. challenge. Uh, we, we are being more like, like crazy though. Uh, we do have workouts. Have to wake up at 7 a.m. for breakfast and then 9 6 a.m. Yeah, basically 6. Yeah, we, go, we wake up at 6, right, Max? And you go, go to practice at 9 from 9 to 11. And then a bunch of meetings and lifts. And for the past five days, we have had it on at most like hour and a half. My my initial reaction was probably like, damn, but I'm 40 minutes late. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, real quick, uh, Alessandro, please tell us why you were late first day. All right, I'm not gonna go into details, but I was pulled over and received four tickets. So. Four, four tickets. tickets. At, At least, least you weren't in a car, car crash. crash um, like, like one of our teammates, teammates actually were. Um, KP. 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 Yeah. yeah. He was, he was, he was in a car crash on the way. Thankfully, both him and the other person in the car crash are okay. But he was a few days late. What, three days, two days late? It was, so that was kind of, that was kind of tough hearing that news, honestly. Because, like, 
Yeah, because yeah, like, like we didn't, didn't see him, and then we're like, like oh, oh shoot, shoot. he got. got and and it was it was funny because he is our uh, our, our cross neighbor, so yeah. like bonding with our our like yeah you know, our dorm mm -hmm. is is different to add another person yeah. there, but it's cool though. It's cool now. So, so me and, and Alex, Alex, we live. In one, one dorm, dorm Sunderland, Sunderland, and then Alessandro and Max are roommates, roommates in the dorm, dorm over Sherwood. Sherwood. So, so there's, there's a little, little bit of a rivalry. I honestly don't give, give a crap, crap, to be completely, completely honest. honest. Sherwood's on top. Because <laughs> my yes, sir, Sherwood. As you can see, I don't have a mattress up top because my roommate's not here. He'll be here in a little bit. But so I've kind of been on my own. Um, um, Alex, Alex has, has a roommate. roommate. He's 6'7", 350, 345, Talbot. Talbot. So he's he's a pretty cool cat. cat. But it's, it's definitely, definitely been a big, big transition. transition. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not, not upset, upset with the dorms, dorms to be honest. honest. They, they aren't, aren't terrible. terrible. I've, yeah. yeah. Like prison cells with cinder walls. But from my personal experience, bunking has helped a lot. It's made a bunch of space in here. And I just put up, Max just put up some of my LED, <laughs> put up some of my LED lights. So which that looks cool. But um, other than that, I don't, I don't know if I have any real complaints. They were just moving in all the new furniture, which was kind of, it was a little messy. Cause like I was kind of, my family was trying to see what all we could do with the room, but half the stuff wasn't in. But almost everything's in now. I think we're still missing a few pieces, but the under the bed stores. Yeah, yeah, but they, they took, took them away. away. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't even have my room yet. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they took, took it away. away. They, they had it sent out, but it, uh, yeah, yeah. Some, some people didn't have mattresses. No mattresses. Yeah. No mattresses. <laughs> no mattresses. For some reason, five extra mattresses in the lounge. Yeah, yeah which, which that's that's, that's a, little a little weird, but um, you know, it's it's cool living on our own, kind of having our own space and own kind of you know peace of mind at the same time. We don't have our parents walking around everywhere. What are, what are these two idiots doing? And, and we, don't, we don't, you know, you know have, have, you know, you know like life's, life's a bit different. different. Um, food. Food. food, food, food's, food's, food's a, a pretty big, a big thing, thing here. Um, we, we have, have one cafeteria, cafeteria dining, dining hall. hall. It's, it's called, called Baker. Baker. Um, it's also, also referred to as Ellis. Ellis. For, For freshmen, we are mandatory to get the meal plan with unlimited swipes, so we can eat great. Freshman yes. 15. Love, yes. yes. Freshman 25. So we can eat as much food as we want from 7 to 10, which is just a beautiful thing. And the food's pretty solid. I do have to say so myself. Some some is a little, a little iffy. Yeah, breakfast, breakfast gets me. Yeah, breakfast gets me. I usually do have to use the restroom after that. But... <laughs> the food is solid, but the stuff that comes out of you is not. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, or that's maybe it's a bit too it. solid that comes out of you. No, 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 no but um, um, the the, the pizza is pretty, pretty solid. solid. I, I do have, have to say, say the, the pizza is consistent. Yeah, the mac and cheese pizza today was the really mac good. cheese pizza was good. It's it's a good go to because when some of the other stuff because. Since, Since the whole student body isn't in yet, the whole cafeteria isn't open. Isn't open. So, so some of the stuff, stuff is not is not, not it, it. Like, like the vegan stuff, stuff like non meat, no, no meat tacos. tacos. I don't, I don't understand. understand. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't have like tofu, sesame. Yeah. yeah. General so, so, bro. General so. General so. Yeah, yeah they, they had, had like, like turkey, turkey chili, chili tonight, tonight, which I was like, like no. no. So, so it's it's an easy go to for the pizza, which isn't that bad. Breakfast is pretty good too, even though it does go through your body pretty fast. But I do like breakfast. So the food's a solid. I think, I think that's, that's a definite, definite plus, plus of, especially with unlimited swipes. swipes. Plus, plus we have ice cream and much of fruit, and, and they have desserts like, uh -huh. the, like the Boston cream filling cake. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite dessert. The only the thing, thing I can, can say to you guys: guys don't get, get the pudding. pudding. I got, I got it, and I tilted, I tilted it in one, one big blob, blob just slid to the bottom, bottom of the cup. cup. Yeah, it, was it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Was it like frozen? No, it was like. It was good. It was, it was like pudding, like pudding mix, like like they would mix up the pudding uh, and, water. And, with water and powder. Uh, and it was great. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of flipped, flipped it. it. I, was I was like, like no, 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 no thanks. thanks. But the brownies the are the best. The brownies, the brownies are good. Yeah, the brownies are pretty good. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> just you, you did, are did, did you guys try like the the cookie brownie thing or whatever? Yeah, that was actually better than mm -hmm. that. It was like it was like a brownie looking. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was cooked, cooked like a brownie, brownie but it's a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, like, like today, today they just had a bunch of pie set out. 
like, like it's, it's kind of crazy. crazy. But <laughs> 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 yeah, they just baked a couple of pies. But no, but no all, all the people in there are awesome. They're, awesome. they're pretty sweet. They're um really nice. Caesar. Caesar. Yeah, yeah there's one guy named Caesar. He's pretty. He's a cool cat. Um, but other than that, I'm kind of moving on to the football side of things. Um, the locker room's pretty nice. I do have to say so. Sadly, Sadly, I'm probably, I'm probably in, the in the worst spot, spot because I am, I am right, right across from the showers. showers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and let's, let's just say, say there are no no, no clothes, clothes in the showers. Shower. So, so that, that <laughs> I've been drawn to. Yeah, so yeah, I don't have to go into greater detail, detail about, about that. that. But, but the, the locker rooms, rooms are pretty nice. Um, the field is nice. Um, the field we have is nice. Yeah, we we all have speed flexes. I've always worn speed flex. I have. Yeah, I've never. I haven't worn speed flex. Well, senior year, but no, no, yeah. Yeah. but no, the, we all have speed flexes, which are actually a really, really nice color. It's a, yeah, like, like a gloss, gloss dark blue, which, which is, is, is really cool. cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, excited to see a sticker, sticker on it. it. Yeah. Like like sticker sticker we I'm, I'm quite curious how it's gonna look with our white uniforms, though, because like the navy blue, I I know it will look really good with, but like a full white uniform with the navy blue helmet is sounds kind of questionable. I mean, we're in high school. It's not that bad. Yeah. Is like, like with uh, the gold pants. Like we we used yeah. to have gold helmets. They used to have yeah. gold helmets. They switched back to blue this year, and the blue like like, and the gold matched like, because the gold was like the main color, and then like the blue was like the secondary color, and now the secondary color is the main color. Mm -hmm. It throws it off when you want to wear the gold jerseys or the gold pants. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But that that would be the one thing though, because they said that they have gold jerseys for us, mm -hmm. but they never yeah. use them. Yeah. But it would be nice to if we actually wore them. Yeah, so like, we could rush. actually we could have a color That'd rush. Be cool. That would be cool. Like a navy blue helmet with like all gold. Yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. And, it's and it's nice that the practice jerseys are last year's jerseys. Yeah. So they're not all worn up and ripped and smelly, which is nice. And like baggy, like they actually. Yeah, they they, they do fit pretty well. Um. So locker room locker rooms are pretty nice. Well, let's talk about our schedule here and how much even, even for, for Division, Division three, three, it's just. It's just Football football, 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 football. So, um, I, I wake, wake up at six. six. I don't know about you guys. I wake up at six thirty. All right. I have to wake up at six mm -hmm. from Alessandro's alarm, <laughs> and then I wait fifteen minutes to shake him to wake him up for him to finally. You can't even get up to your alarm. <laughs> we had to change his alarm. His alarm sound today because it's it's the Samsung one. because he got too used to it already. So, he, he hopefully he wakes up tomorrow. Yeah. So, so we, we wake up, up we go and eat breakfast. breakfast. Um, straight, straight from, from breakfast, breakfast, we all go, go to the trainer, trainer at, at least the defensive, defensive guys, because we, we have to go get taped. Yeah. And we are aren't supposed to go get taped, taped till like 745, 745, but you have to be there at like 7. You, can, you get there at 715, and the line is packed, and you don't finish till 745. And that's a big change, actually. Like In high school, like getting taped was kind of like if you needed it. Or, or like, like when games, games like, like I never really, really tape my ankles that, that much, much like, especially for practice yeah, yeah I, would I would get like you know tape around, around my turf burn and wrist and stuff for some practices and games, games but like like, like they actually they're like everybody go get taped and stuff go get which I that that's definitely a big change like I've never had that but it's it's nice it just takes takes a while and they they go through a lot of tape I think which the training staff by the way it's pretty awesome they're they're a bunch of great people. That, that they can they just come in and just tape, tape our smelly feet. feet. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I, can, I can do it. But, but um, after, after we getting taped, taped so, so as, as we're getting taped, the offense has um they have meetings, and then after we're done getting taped, they go get taped, and then we go to the field for some walkthroughs, which we can kind of you know go through some of the stuff we just installed, and um so that's around what eight fifteen, eight fifteen, um nine o'clock is when practice starts, um. Practice, Practice is honestly, it's, it's pretty, pretty fun. fun. It was, it was, it was really bad the first, the first day. The, day was horrible. the first day was the worst day. Contemplating. Can we, can, Alessandro, would you like to explain why the first day was so bad? Conditioning test. So, Conditioning test. it is a 300 yard shuttle. So, it is 25 up and back six times. And you're timed. And you have to, you take it twice. And you have to get it under a certain time for your position group. Only seven, seven guys, guys passed, passed it, it. Out, of seven, seven, out of 70, 70 not, not that good. good. I, was I was pretty close. close. I, don't I don't know about, about you guys. guys. No. I was I was, was kind of there. there. I, no. I had ended up getting the – I got the time on my first one. I got 59 uh -huh. seconds. On my second one, I got a minute 11. 
but yeah, I was I mostly just... like, I had the breath to do it. Mm-hmm. Like, conditionally, I was fine, but it was just like so hot outside, and my legs yeah. felt dead. Yeah, yeah def- def- first day was rough. It, it definitely <laughs> was. There was some, some guys, guys just like, like Max, Max. Did you even finish? finish? I did not finish my test <laughs> because uh, I, I wasn't really prepared. And midway running through my first one, cramped in the left leg, mm. fell on the ground. There, there was, was a few people, people that cramped, cramped, a few people that puked. Um, um, one. You calling out for me again? No. <laughs> I also threw up. You, you after also I did didn't throw finish up. my conditioning test because but I cramped I in one leg, I cramped in the other, and yeah. I was, it, it was, was rough. rough. You come, come off, off your, your last, last, your last twenty-five, and for a good two or three minutes, minutes you're, you're you're dead. dead. After, After that, that, I was I was, I was fine, fine for the most part. I didn't. You, nope, nope, you weren't. Uh, last 30, 30 seconds. seconds. 30, 30 seconds before that, I was fine because you know the adrenaline's going. Yeah. yeah. And then right after that, right after that second one, I collapsed on the floor, bro. Oh no. I was on the floor and then I, someone picked me up. Yeah. So that was that was, that was that definitely, definitely the toughest thing we've had so far. Everything, Everything else is kind of. It's been getting easier. Feels like. Yeah, I feel like. This is gonna sound weird, but I feel like college practice is definitely easier than high school practice. No, no. It's, it's it's different, different Alex. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it's way harder. A change I don't because we're on such a because they it's so much longer of a preparation, and they have to yeah. feed us, and we we're mandatory go to breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or we have to do the uh, muscle beach. <laughs> Would anybody yes. like to explain what the muscle beach is? Are you popular? <laughs> no, no, don't worry about that. Um, it's, it's just, just a workout. Our O line, our very scary O line, who played at Michigan State with Kirk Cousins, Le'Veon Bell, um, puts us through. So I haven't had to do it. None of us have had to do it. Hopefully, we will never do it, ever, because we don't want to. We've seen a few kids do those workouts, and we're like, no, I will never be late to anything now. But yeah, yeah, that'll. Good luck, guys. I, good luck, but. It's definitely, it's definitely different. different. Um, we, we just, just got, got shoulder pads, pads on, on, what, two, two days, days ago, two practices ago? Yeah, two practices ago. So, so uh, we're, we're in five, five practices, practices now. now. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow we put on full pads. pads. I, don't I don't know if we're going live. live. I'd, I'd love, love to go live. live. That'd we're, be nice. If we're going full pads, we're probably going live. Probably going live, but... That's what live means. We were pretty much going live yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we've had... We've definitely had some high-energy practices... Um, um, we've got crazy. the yeah, upperclassmen upper are a little rowdy, and we've got they've, they've gotten, gotten into it a few times. times. Um, um, today, today we definitely, we definitely calmed, calmed it down. down. Um, because it was a, it was a rain, it was like wet outside, yeah. And no yeah. sun outside. So yeah, no. yesterday, yesterday wasn't, wasn't that bad. bad. The, the day, day before, before, it was hot. It was, it was hot, hot, and that, that was the worst day. Yeah, the first day the was so hot. Yeah, no one was really feeling it today, just because it was kind of moody. Yeah, it was that the sun wasn't out and. I mean, I mean, it was, it was nice because nice it wasn't that hot, hot but still, so it was like it was spring. Was like, yeah. yeah, but I, I, I think, think the team's gonna be solid, solid this year. I definitely do. We, we have, have a lot, lot of playmakers on the offensive side, side of the ball. The, the defensive, defensive side, side um, it'll, it'll be, be interesting, interesting to see how that how that turns out. I know there are a few returners, but at the same time, there's a lot of new guys stepping up. So, so yeah, yeah. Um, um, we'll, we'll get get back, get back to, to the, the timeline, timeline real quick. quick. So, so after practice, practice is over, um, we, we have, have a free, free period from around 12 to 3, 3.30, 30, where we go to lunch, we shower, we get, we get treated, treated by, by the, the trainers. trainers. I usually get an ice bath. Everybody, I get one every everybody gets day. ice baths, yeah. which feels pretty good, but really cold. Um, and then around – Yeah, you get used to it. Around 3, 30, 4 o'clock – we go, go watch, watch film, film which, which is, is also a big change from high school because we never filmed our practices. practices. We, we might have filmed, filmed a live scrimmage, but, but we, we never, never filmed our our practices, practices and watched, watched them through that day. day. Is the same, same with you guys? Yeah. Uh, we filmed like, like, like when we did the main team, team we filmed that. Oh, yeah. we, we, we did like a scrimmage, like an international yeah, or something. We, we filmed never, that. We never filmed practices. There's either games yeah. or maybe scrimmages, uh-huh. and then we just watch it. Uh, if we had like a Friday night game, we'd go in Monday morning or Monday afternoon after school and yeah. watch film. Which is really nice because like on the spot you can pick out like what's wrong, what are you doing wrong, like your mistakes, and you can address it the next day. Which I think is it's really beneficial to me because you can you know take your notes and just at least write down what you did wrong and what you can do better. And the coaches are super cool and like you know here's what you did wrong, here's what we're gonna 
you know, you know what, what you got to fix. fix. That, yeah, so that's your coaches that. Then my coaches, coaches, but ours are like, yeah, you know, like we just, they're really hard, and that's because you know a lot of younger guys they got to put put in place and stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so after, after film's, film's done, done, we go yeah, we go, go to dinner, dinner, and then, and then there's, there's kind of a little time between, between dinner, dinner and then six thirty starts our meetings. So we have a special teams. We have, we have a special, special teams, teams meeting from around 6.30 to 7. 7.50. 7, 7, yeah, it's, it's like... Yeah, it's, yeah. at 6.30 yeah. we have the t- full bad. team meeting with Coach Carter. He comes in and says a few Who's words. Who's the head coach? Coach Carter. Yeah. He says a few words, gives us like some things we have to work on. And then after that, we go into special teams meeting. And then after uh, Coach P, who is a special teams coordinator gives the meeting then he goes into install which is a bunch of new things yeah which the, the first day writing, writing all that stuff down was crazy what we, we installed punt, punt first yeah yes and, and when, when we ran punt in high, high school it was not that complicated it was like a full-blown offensive playbook of what to do and stuff which was crazy and then after he's done we go into offense defense meetings offense usually splits up into positions and then defense kind of stays and we do install which, Which that, that first, first one was rough, rough. when we installed our. It took us the linemen like three days before we could actually get. Yeah. Understand. So, so we installed, installed a bunch there, there and, then and then we, we go, go for, for about another half, half an hour to positional, positional meetings. So, so I go with the D backs, the linemen, the the, the the specialists that I don't know if you could call them football players, but. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sitting right behind you. Oh, I just whispered. You shouldn't have heard me. I can hear you. And, and then, then after, after we get we done, done those meetings, we go out onto the field, the field for another install. We actually put it all, it all together on the field, field for about 8 to 8.45. And then some nights we've had snacks, some nights we've had team bonding. And, and then, then, you know, night, night lights, lights out, out at around 11, 12 o'clock whenever you can get to bed. Because the biggest hole in our schedule, I think, is free time. Because we've all, the first few nights we definitely have kind of had fun. We got chairs out of different rooms and rolled down the hallways, which is fun. But we have about two hours at night to do that. And, and a lot of times you don't, you don't get to bed till 11, 30, 12 o'clock, which you probably don't want to. But like, I don't know, we just moved in. We want to, you know, have a little fun because it's college. Before everyone else comes. Yeah. We're the only people in the college. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice because you kind of like, you get to meet everybody, you get to find out like, who they are, what they act like, you know, all the figure out all the weird people and the characters. Like me, I don't smell. I, we all smell, okay? We all smell. That locker room stank. Yeah, that's just you. It's just you. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that's the biggest, you know, thing. But we're here for football all together, so it doesn't really matter what we what we think at that point. Um, so, so we kind of went over our schedule. schedule. So, so I think, think definitely, definitely the, the biggest difference from high school to college ball is the playbook. Yeah. I, I think so. the, the guys, guys I've, I've seen are kind of the same, same, you know, size ish in the same kind of speed levels as in high school. school. Uh, maybe, maybe a little, a little different, different, but at the same, but the the real big difference is the playbook. That first day, I. I think, I think all of us honestly want to quit, quit football. football. I mean, except Alex, Alex probably. You're, you just I mean, I, no, there's, there's, what do you feel? What, there's, there's more like, to it than you guys yeah. realize. Yeah. Um, on a specialist perspective, while you guys are doing all your playbook studying, I have a bunch of things that I also have to worry about as well. Yeah. Um, during our film sessions, we go in and we watch every single kick that we've taken during the entire practice. We chart them out get like like the the timings for everything and then we film it into a spreadsheet Um, and then we compare those times to like what we've done in the past like the past few practices and then we'll figure out exactly where in our mechanics we need to improve um so like with you guys while you have your stuff where it's like maybe you uh did a wrong play or you made it wrong like or the play call you thought was something with something else for us it's mostly the same kind of thing but, but there are, like, like very, very small aspects, aspects of our mechanics, mechanics that we have to tweak, mm-hmm. which, which makes it very difficult to be repetitive on. Yeah. yeah but we break out a team meeting and I walk in the locker room and then the specialist and I listen to Katy Perry. That's the other side of specialists. So while you guys are in your team meetings, we do kind of have to just sit around and wait for you guys until install happens. And we don't really – can't really go back to our dorms because it – 
it's we go back and maybe for 20 minutes and then yeah. we come back but that's kind of cool you guys can kind of you know bond and like, like you know all three of the, all three of the, the two, two kickers and a long snapper but that's that's, that's definitely, definitely cool, cool but i think you know definitely looking back at the first day it was one of those days where it's like oh i i hate hey life currently i don't think i don't think yeah the just being a college student looks a little tempting because it, it it's tough it's you know, it's a lot of new stuff, and we don't know what the heck we're doing. So it kind of it takes that first day to kind of, you know, do stuff wrong and you know figure it out watching film. But as for me, the second day I felt a lot better. I don't know about for you, for you guys definitely, and I was like, oh, I like this football thing again. You know, but um, it's it's a different it's a different breed to be honest. It's a whole different. It's, it's all days, days for, for, for camp, camp for now. But like, like high school camp, camp was like, oh, heat acclimation, acclimation two, two days, days you have to run a lot. lot. But, but here, camp is like, it's, it's a, a lifestyle. lifestyle. So much more mental than physical. It, it, it is. is. Like, like, I mean, I'd pull up the notes, notes but, but we just probably, probably keep, keep all of that under wraps because we don't want anybody yeah, spying in. Them. We won't. No, we won't. We don't want anybody, anybody taking all of our stuff. But it's, it's a lot, you know, putting in everything. And, and then you, you kind of get a hold of it, and then they just put more stuff, stuff in. in. Yeah. They just install, install more. more. So, so we've been – every night we've installed, installed something new. We put in our base stuff, and since then we put in – we put our base coverages and put in – what we put in our other coverages and put in disguises, the blitzes. We put in goal line. Yeah, goal line, short yardage, all that stuff. And it's it's definitely taking a toll on our body and our minds. Definitely, I believe we have – Yes, yeah, it's, it's it, I'm, like, like I said, said it's, it's, a, it's a it's a different breed, breed to be honest. Um, what were you guys' just kind of thoughts on, on you know the whole? The first day, I was like, man, fo- do I really want to do football? <laughs> yeah, then, I think. Yeah. And then every morning I wake up and I think the same thing, but then after practice, like oh, I was like that's fun, and then after the team meeting, I'm like. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, like damn. damn. It's like a cycle. It's like, it's a, it's a cycle. Thinking, it's like mood, my mood change. Like in the morning is the worst when it's like 40 degrees mm-hmm. in your room, and then you're yeah. like you have to walk to the to go get food in the morning, and you don't even want to eat, and then you have to walk to practice at yeah. It, was, it sucks. Yeah. You really don't want to eat in the morning, but you gotta get. You have to. Oh, yeah. terrible. You definitely yeah. have to. I ate like a potato. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, potato. Like, yeah. yeah. But like, well, I, I think, think definitely, definitely like all of us freshmen, freshmen that one, one time just it came across our minds like. Is football really for us now? It's way more than like every single day. <laughs> yeah. Like every day of the morning. For me, I, I've, I've been, been fine recently, yeah. but... Yeah. After, after the first... After the first... Training, yeah. yeah. The, once yeah. once we finished the whole conditioning test, then it really got into more of, like, we're actually playing football and not yeah. just putting our bodies through a bunch of hell. Do yeah, that? I mean, yeah. yeah. But... Not... not, not <laughs> another shot at kickers. You guys don't realize how much stress my leg no, is right now. Yeah, yeah I, could, I, could, I could... I couldn't do it. I know... I don't know if I either, either of you could do it. I mean, I can... I, can I, 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 <laughs> I worked my leg so hard in the past yeah. few months that I actually, like, tore my left flexor because of stress. Yeah. So, I'm... It's, it's really, really hard, hard to do a specialist job. Yeah. yeah. And as, as like, like every other position, it's like you, you put, put so much stress on your body, mm-hmm. and, and it just, just takes a, you, you, you take a beating. beating. It's like, like these, like, like all, all you guys, guys are working, and it's, it's like, like your entire body is stressed out. out. Mm-hmm. For me, it's my left leg that's just taking a beating after beating after beating. Because he's a left footed kicker. Yeah. Because I'm kicking, I'm kicking for. Two, two and a half, three hours straight without rest. Yeah, and, and like, like I, camp, camp has, has banged a lot of kids up. up. I, we've, we've had, had a few, few many injuries. And some people quit already. Yeah, yeah we. Two people quit already. What is it? Day six, day five, day six. And Tomorrow will be day, day six yeah. of practice. Day six of camp. Yeah, we've, like but two yeah. kids not even show up. We've had. Day, we've had two quit already. We've, we've had, had broken, broken fingers, fingers, broken hands, hands pulled hammies. Hands. A lot um, of cool stuff. Well, during, during one, one drill, drill, I was, was doing, doing the, the one guy in front of me, he hit this bag with his hand, and his hand went limp. limp. And it was like, like oh. Day it was like the first, it, it, it was day one. one. It was day yeah, one, and I'm pretty sure he was a, I don't, I didn't know him. I think it was a slot. I think he's pretty good, but it, it's like, oh my. The team, what, we have 70, around 70, we're probably down to, yeah, we're, some days, yeah, some days we're down to like 60 because of injuries and all that stuff, but. It's, it, it, it takes a toll on your body, body and, 
we're we're getting used to it day by day. We're kind of you know we've kind of got. I feel like we've gotten def. Um, I'm blanking here. We've gotten. The swing, the swing of things, things you know, you know our, our kind of routine. routine. There, there we go. I'm, yeah, God, yeah, I'm not smart. But, but we've, we've gotten, gotten kind of a, a routine of things, things you know. Wake, wake up, up, eat breakfast, practice, eat lunch, lunch. Heal, heal your body, body. meetings, 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 meetings. meetings. And, and then and mess around and have fun at night. But so it's I'm I'm excited to, you know, go forward with camp. I know we have a full week this week of camp. Um, um, next, next Wednesday, Wednesday is our scrimmage, scrimmage against St. Vincent. Vincent. And, and then, then I believe, believe do we have our preseason on Sunday? Yes. yes. And, and then, then we have a pool day that's on the 21st. Yeah. We, have we have a pool day that's Sunday too. We're excited for that. That's it. That's our only like, yeah, that's, that's our only, free, that's our only free, free day. And then, yeah, once, once school starts, it will get a bit lighter. Yeah. The 25th. Yeah. Classes start the 25th. So we'll only have like. Maybe early morning stuff and then stuff in the afternoon after yeah. classes. But, but then, then that, that next Saturday, Saturday, we make the trip, trip up to Grove, Grove City, City. Yeah. Which, which is, is I believe they're, they're nationally ranked. ranked. Mm -hmm. They're just, just right, right in the top, top 25. 25. They have a lot, a lot of good players. players. Um, um, it'll, it'll definitely, definitely be a test. test. I'm excited, excited to see the atmosphere of these games. Yeah. I went to a game at Grove City. It's it's a pretty cool place, you know, to be at and watch a football game. It'll, It'll definitely, definitely be different, be different playing at 1, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, yeah, I will say. Friday night late is awesome, the best. It definitely it is, but Saturday in the afternoons, it, that, that sun might, light. you know, it's, it's going to affect us. Yeah, it yeah. definitely yeah. is. Grove City as well is an overnight for us, so we are yeah, going to be leaving that's true. Friday night. Yeah, yeah. We, have a, we have three overnights. So we'll leave. Grove City, Hopkins, and um, what was the other one? Moravian, I think, maybe? Moravian, probably, but... Um, um, I, I think, think the, the trip, trip the, the trips will be fun. fun. We, we can't, can't mess around too much because we'll definitely, definitely get yelled at. But yeah, we don't want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, another thing is we have a travel roster, roster which, which that's, that's definitely, definitely a big, big motivator, motivator to get on get that because you know yeah. they're, just, they're only taking about 55, 60 people. So if our roster is 70, that means 10 people will be staying. Yeah, 10, 15. So that's definitely a motor motivator for everybody to you know. Um, um, not, not just, just try to, you know, be, be the best, best at their position, position but, but get, get on special teams. teams. Um, I, know I know I'm on a few. few. I think I'm only, like, f you know, first, first team on one, but I'm still on a few. few. <laughs> on, yeah, yeah, we're, we're on, on punt. punt. I don't, how am I a right tackle? I'm 175 pounds. How am I a right tackle? I was left tackle for a little bit with Max. Yeah. But well, I, don't, I don't. You got a 250 pound right guard, and then you got the 160 pound right tackle. 175. Come on. 175. Give me, give me my <laughs> weight. But I gotta make the stats better. Yeah, yeah gotta make the stats, stats better. But um, just you know, yeah, this this is our life, life now. Yeah. And, and it'll, it'll definitely, definitely change up again, again when we get classes. classes. Um, we'll, we'll probably hit classes, classes for the first few days or two. Definitely. Um, but classes start on a. Thursday, right? They, they start, start on Thursday, Thursday which is a little odd. It's the day right after our scrimmage. I don't have classes on Thursdays. <laughs> You're a lucky bum, then. I wonder if you have to do anything. <laughs> I, there might be, like, a bunch of stuff where you have to meet your advisor or something. That's it, true. It that's seems true. like on a scheduling basis, they're not having us do anything in the morning either. Okay. So we might have, like, some early morning advisor things. Yeah. So I'm not sure if I'll do that. I'll have to do that or not. But if I... Don't then I'll have at least a day to recover from all this. That'd be nice. And then we'll I, I don't, I don't know if we'll have practice that day, but we'll have afternoon practice. Yeah, we have yeah. afternoon practice that day. So yeah. it's, it's yeah. yeah. Actually, I don't think we have anything that day. We might have a lift. Pause a lift after a scrimmage, but yeah, lifting is a big difference too. I think. Yeah. Because we're all in the same clothes. Um, the weight room's pretty nice, and I. I, I sometimes, sometimes in high, high school when you did summer, summer lifting, it was like early in the morning. It wasn't mandatory, and you kind of just screwed around and didn't like do all your sets. Like I feel motivated when to 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 lift. Um, being a smaller guy, lifting was never you know fun for me. But I definitely feel with being with all the other guys, it definitely motivates me to work hard. You know, help this team out as much as possible. They, yeah. put, they put like an upper class in each one of our mm -hmm. groups. So yeah, which so they motivate us to keep going too. Yeah, yeah and the big motivation for us not trying to get yelled at is also yeah. a like, greater motivation. And, yeah, yeah, and trying try not, not to, to do, do muscle, muscle beats or yeah. anything. Uh, anything. Do, you do, you th do you think we could get Treadwell on the podcast? No. Talk about his Michigan, no, no his Michigan State times. I think I bet you. 
I might have to try to do an interview with them. That'd be cool, though. You like you might have to bring your stuff with you. Yeah, I just do like a mobile interview. Yeah. There's no way, bro. Maybe you can get like Coach Mears or something. I'll I'll have to try. I could I could probably get Starks, but the coaching staff is awesome. There there are a bunch of cool guys um that have come from all over actually. A lot of guys have come from other schools in the conference. Um, like we said, Treadwell played at Michigan State. He was a captain for like three years, I think. Played with Kirk Cousins and Le'Veon Bell, which is absolutely insane. And I swear I see him running every morning. He in the rain today. I I heard from uh, my long snapper that he goes out at six o'clock in the morning and is doing the running that he has you guys do in the during practice. Mm-hmm. And so it's like if he's doing laps around, he's doing laps around the track and or running like running gassers in the morning at 6 a.m. 6:30. So he so he kind of has a like a meaning to putting you guys through that stuff because he's putting himself through yeah. it as well. He's just he's a different breed. He's an animal. Like, I mean, you can look him up and see him at Michigan State, and he's huge. Like he's definitely got a lot more built now, but he was he was a tank. At Michigan State, but so, you know, all in all, this college thing, it's going to be the whole football and school thing. It'll be different, but I think it'll be a blast. And I think we've made some pretty good friends already and some pretty good groups. We know, you know, who's cool to hang out with, who's weird. Who the Shank is weird. Ethan, Ethan Shank is the weirdest person. He paid us to be here. I didn't pay any of you to be here. But well, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to get, get other guys. guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's a disclosed number. Disclosed number. I was pulling that envelope. I got a couple more dollars. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I only got like 10. I got like 15 actually. 10. Oh, you pay me 300 bucks, bro. <laughs> 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 I'll definitely have that money come from. <laughs> I don't have that money. Um, <laughs> I'll definitely I'll have, have to get some other guys on, you know, and we'll keep this going. Definitely talking about. Everything, Everything that's, that's happening, happening. we'll go in a little bit more depth of practices, practices. not any scheme stuff, because we don't want anybody, you know, learning our scheme stuff. But we'll definitely talk about some funny stories and, you know, all, all the fun times we have. But, yeah, so thank you guys for listening today. I um, hope you enjoyed these idiots with me. Um, Alex, Alessandro, Max, um, they're, they're some pretty okay guys, I guess. Um, make sure... Follow Instagram at all22 underscore pod. Um, check it out. Maybe get this on TikTok. This will probably be on YouTube too. Spotify, Apple. And, you know, facts. 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 And you guys better share it too. You guys better help with publishing this. It'd be your first TikTok. Yeah. Oh the entire, no, he's gonna put I'll it put the entire podcast. All, all, all 37 minutes of it. All 37 minutes of it. Oh my gosh. So but yeah, yeah, so, so thanks, thanks for listening. Thank you guys for joining. Appreciate, appreciate it. And have, have a good, good day. day. Bye bye. Or good night. <laughs>